Hey guys, it's Josh, Tiny Rich Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. We're going to be doing some inside stuff and some outside stuff today. I'm trying to figure out the perfect height for my office desk. I'm six foot five, 260 pounds, and I'm going to be using a chair, a regular chair, like a roll around chair with adjustable arms, and I'm going to be using one of those exercise balls to sit on because my back is experiencing some pain from sitting a whole lot on the tractor and you know whatnot. So we're gonna go in here, take some measurements, and I'm gonna show you how crappy my office looks right now. Give you a little bit of before and after. So we won't get it done today, but I'll take you in, show you what a cluttered mess we have right now. And then as the vlogs continue, you'll see what a not cluttered mess we have and what an awesome little workspace that we come up with to do our YouTube videos and also do our farm stuff, our taxes and, and uh, get our farm stuff done in there. So come along with me and check it out, guys. Woo! Well, before we go inside, I gotta go check my baby chicks and see how they're doing. These guys are going through water like it's going out of style. I'm trying to keep the half gallon water full, but it's just not enough water. So the Cornish Rock Cross Chicken, you can't continually feed. We've got to feed them on and off, on and off. If not, they'll gorge themselves and their legs will splay out like this and they won't be able to walk or stand. They, they grow so fast, it's a kind of a bummer that they can't come up with a breed that grows just right so it doesn't have heart troubles, liver troubles, and all that stuff. So anyway, let's check on the chicks and see how they're doing. I know they're doing great. I can hear them back there peeping. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Hey, little birdies. Hey, bird friends. What you guys doing? So guys, they've got water, which is awesome. The feeder is almost empty. We'll go ahead and put some feed in the feeder. So guys, I know this is a farm vlog, but there are more things that go on on the farm that are not just outside. So. We're gonna go ahead and fill up our chick feeder. We're gonna put a little more shavings in there, a little more sawdust, so that the chicks have some good litter. Layer it up there good, and then when we get ready to dump it, we can fertilize the crap out of the yard with it. Rad. Let's go ahead and get this thing full. I'll show you what I do. So in this bag right here, guys, we've got sawdust that we get from a local milling uh, shop, and it's all hardwood sawdust, which is awesome. There's like walnut sawdust in here. It's got an awesome kind of rich smell to it. It's pretty cool. We'll layer this up in here. The chickens always have some good, fresh, fresh litter. And they're growing, guys. Chickens are really growing. So we'll take this litter and we'll spread it out in the bottom of the brooder box so that they have good, fresh litter. And we do this about every day, every other day, depending on how much poop that the chickens are putting out. We want to keep it fresh, want to keep it clean. But also, we don't want to clean it out every other day either. So keep it fresh, keep it clean, disease-free, and we'll use that litter as fertilizer later on on some bare spots that we have on our land. Woo! So we'll take our feeder, you can see what's in it, and basically it's sawdust and stuff that they've kicked around. We'll slide it open about halfway. I'll put a link to this feeder down below. All this stuff I'll put links down below so you can click it and buy it really easily. But we're going to dump this in there so the chicks will scratch through it and we're going to refill it. So this is a one gallon scoop right here. And basically we just take our one gallon scoop, we pour it in. Normally we do this over the, over the brooder box, but I wanted to show you. We pour a little bit in, and then we kind of shake it down. That's it. I don't fill it super duper full. Uh, if you don't have these Cornish Rock chickens, you can fill it all the way full, it's just fine. But all they're going to do is gobble all this down, and I'll show you. It's amazing how voracious these little birds' appetites are. Check it out, I'm going to show you. Set this thing down in here, and they're going to go nuts for it. Okay guys, so we fed the chicks 12 hours on and 12 hours off. Watch me set this feeder down in here, and watch them go. It's amazing. You would think that these chicks are completely starving to death. You can see the smaller chick, like this guy here, he's a white leggard, or she's a white leggard. She isn't that interested in the food as much as these bigger chicks. And I'll show you the difference in the size. I'll pick a couple of them up. So guys, here's the difference in a white leggard chick and a Cornish rock chick. This Cornish rock chick and this white leggard are the same age. Unbelievable how much growth 
you get in the Cornish rock chick versus the uh, white leghorn chick. This is a meat bird. This is a layer bird. Pretty awesome. Something that nobody talks about that you guys need to know. If you order Cornish rock cross chicks, prepare. They poop eat and drink a lot. All they do is eat, drink, poop, eat, drink, poop. And they poop four times, five times as much as your standard chicks. So guys, let's go on in the house and I'll show you what's going on with the uh, office area here, okay? It's a disaster. Excuse the mess. It's a disaster. It's in repair, guys. Everything here is under construction. This farm is growing. Everything's growing here. The farm's growing. The house is growing. Things are growing. So this place is under construction. That's all you need to know. All right, guys, let's go on in the door here. So I'm walking through the house here, and let me preface by saying that things from the office are in the hallway. We took everything from our little bedroom and moved it into the bigger bedroom in the office. It's still not very big, but it is what it is. So it's what we've got now, and we'll build later on. This is currently my office. I'm going to put a corner desk right here and we're going to put shelving right here and shelving right here and we're going to have a little workspace right here and we're going to use this as our office for our YouTube channel here. So guys watch this office go from this huge mess to something awesome. I got a million hobbies, million things going on. I haven't introduced you to everything that I do just because it's so much going on here okay so I'm reading several books right now I've got some music projects going on and I also got a 150 acre farm to get going and I'm also a nurse and I work a regular job so a lot of stuff going on here guys I can't sit still I'm like uh, Tyler Durden man on Fight Club I, I just I can't sit still there's too much in this life to learn and do to sit still so get off your butt and do something so guys I've got my ruler out here I'm coming up with my measurements uh, by sitting down in my chair and seeing where I'm comfortable, okay? You don't have the option to do this if you just go buy a factory uh, desk or whatever, but I'm not gonna buy a factory desk. I got too many skills here. I got too much cool stuff. I want something original, something really cool, and we'll build on it as we go and make it an awesome little uh, space here, a little YouTube space, so that I can get online and do some rants and do some live stuff with you guys too. So basically, I just kinda sat down in my old desk and took my measuring tape and figured out what makes it comfortable for me. And the comfortable for me is 32 inches tall. So if I put my desk at 32 inches tall, that makes me comfortable, it makes me happy. And also, I'm gonna put a higher desk that I can stand up at and work to. Guys, this is the height that I like to work when I'm standing up. I may not have introduced you to my bar top. This is a piece of live edge walnut, and I've got some old barn tin down here, and a log off of my old tobacco barn that we employed to make this bar top. This thing's awesome. I used a bar top finish. I'll put a link down below. I can't just give you a teaser on the bar and not tell you all about it. So from the floor up, we've got our flooring we installed. This is a log that I took from a tobacco barn down the hill there. Uh, this receptacle cover is new, but I sanded it down and put some salt on it, made it rust. This old barn tin is off of the old barn that I uh, was taking uh, barn wood off of in a previous video, right, right here. Okay, so and this is a piece of live edge walnut and I'll show you that. So this live edge walnut we went up to Floyd, Virginia up on the top of this mountain. This guy had an awesome sawmill operation. Maybe one day we'll take you up there with the vlog but uh, we ended up getting this piece of uh, walnut and it had so much character. It's really cool so we finished it and I used a bar top epoxy coat finish. Like I said I'll put a link down there below. Um, this stuff works awesome. If you ever do this, put a thin coat of the bar top finish first and then put a final coat. It'll help save you from getting little bubbles in there. But bubbles and imperfections are kind of what we want here. I'd like to take a minute and thank Dr. Dave's mom. Thank you for the seeds. We're going to plant these uh, peas this year. She gave me some seeds. They're uh, survival for seeds. What are they called? Survival seeds for patriots. I guess they're in these little space bags and they're supposed to last a really long time So we'll see how they lasted guys with any project. We need to start with a plan I've drawn out up a little simple plan here. I know what height I want my desk. I know what height I want my uh, Little bar top area and we're gonna work off of that I've got some old metal that I got for free and I got the door for free So this should all be for free awesome stuff and it won't hurt our feelings to drill holes in any of this stuff run wires do things like we need to do. We'll use zip ties. We'll make it clean. We'll make it neat and have a nice little office. So let's get outside and look at the lumber that we've got. Guys, we're going to take a few measurements here, plan this all out. So 
so the door measures about 74 inches tall by 31 and a half inches wide this is plenty deep but we're gonna have to th rethink our cuts a little bit uh, the other piece here is uh, an old table mold and we're gonna sand that down and we're gonna cut 10 and a half inch shelving out of it so before we make our first cut or anything we're gonna take our little orbital sander and we're gonna sand this this is a Chicago electric brand it's uh, I believe the uh, house brand for Harbor Freight tool it's done me just fine I'm not a pro carpenter I'm not a pro furniture builder if I were I'd be buying pro equipment this is an entry-level piece of equipment and it works just fine for me so let's sand this door down so we don't get any splinters in our legs and fingers going to work on our shelving unit here. We don't need to worry too much about uh, splinters and stuff on the shelving unit. Basically we're just going to cut these in strips 10 and a half inches long and we'll hang them in the house. I haven't figured out what kind of shelving brackets we're going to use yet but I will. Guys, this might not be cool to you. I think it's really cool. Guys, you might be thinking, why is he doing this? Why is he doing all this? Guys, while you put your Chinese shelves up in your house, I've got a piece of American-made hardwood going up in my place. And that's cool. Something that was going to go in the trash. Awesome. The more I look at this, the more I think that this should be the desk. And the door should be some shelving. I'm going to use the door as shelving and I'm gonna use this as the desk guys if you're being creative you gotta be flexible let's try this I've got some ideas I'm gonna mark it out cut this thing out if I cut it mess it up hey it was going in the trash anyway we can always use it in the wood stove so my idea is to make this the corner and cut basically a rounded out section out of here probably centered somewhere just outside of this uh, hole right here. This hole is the only thing that's really throwing me for a loop. I may end up making this section wider and coming right on the edge of this hole right here. So I could make it even circular. Uh, that, that could be really cool. So let's check it out. Let's see what we can come up with here. Guys, remember geometry class? We're gonna use that geometry. Rad. So guys, if you remember the isosceles triangle, that's what we're gonna make here. A triangle with three equal sides. Then we're gonna take the center of the lower side and mark out our uh, angle to cut our rounded portion of our desk. Really complicated. Isosceles triangle, Google it. How complicated was that? I'm gonna show you this, it's ridiculous. So guys, how we used our protractor to make our angle right here was we measured 8 inches and then we measured across here, found the center, measured 8, measured 8, put the uh, spike right here in the, in the intersection and then drew our angle. So this angle should be perfect and even. Awesome. Makes you kind of wonder why we obsess about little tiny details like this. Why would I obsess about that? Why don't I just freehand it? I don't know. Cause I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna sand it anyway. I got it right though, didn't I? Woo! Guys, all the measuring and all the math in the world doesn't do you any good if you don't know how to use your hands. I encourage you, get out, be a man, and use your hands. Or a woman. Use your hands, guys. Use them. It's a forgotten art. You use your hands to do something besides keyboards, okay? And video games. Get up, get out, and learn, and work, and use your hands.
So even after all that figuring, guys, I ended up just freehanding it. It didn't quite look right, the angle that I had right here, so I went ahead and freehanded it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand this thing smooth and we're gonna build the legs for it. We're gonna go ahead and make a shelving unit that goes right in the corner with it. I wanna talk about food for thought, okay? I take every single screw, nut, bolt, any piece of hardware that I don't use if I buy something, and I put it in this container right here, okay? I'll show you what we've got. Basically, anything and everything. So if you can't find another bolt, guys, you need a container like this. Have one at your house. Anytime you open something, you're inevitably throwing away pieces and parts. Sometimes you might need one. Keep a little container like this. Just a Stony Ridge Farmer tip there, guys. Woo! What we're trying to do here is get our uh, shelving unit attached together. It's two pieces. We want to make it look nice, fairly classy, pretty decent. So that's what we're doing. So guys, we got our shelf all mounted together. We just used two little L brackets and we're going to go ahead and sand this all down. So guys, we got it all done. It looks great. It's all sanded down nice so I won't get any splinters. I'm going to put a little coat of lacquer on here, just a light coat, uh, just to help kind of seal it off and then we'll work on our legs. It's windy, it's making this a pain in the butt. Guys, if you don't have one of these attachments, you need to get one. It makes spray painting just super easy, super awesome. I'll put a link. Boy, this lacquer really makes the color of the grain come out on this wood. Guys, we want to maintain this rustic look and we don't want to seal it off too much. We don't want a big thick coat of lacquer. I'm just doing this so that it's easier to dust. The wind is horrible today. It is not cooperating with me at all. Guys, we got everything together inside the house. We've got two brackets that we went and bought from Lowe's. Uh, we also put some wood up on the edge and we're gonna go ahead and carry our uh, desktop in and put it on top of its mounts. Guys, here's what we've got. We put two brackets up right here so that we'd have free leg space underneath here. And we also put uh, a couple pieces of board right there so that we can mount it up securely, make sure it's nice and tough, tough enough for me to sit down on. I weigh 260 pounds, big old fat boy. Woo! Get ready guys, this room's gonna get this, this light. I'm hooked on a feeling, I don't believe in that this is poor lighting. This office is gonna shrink here in just a minute. When I bring this thing in here, the office is gonna go whoop. So anyhow, we need a desk, we need an office, and we got it going on, let's do it. All right, we got her in here. Gonna sit her out on our ledge here. See how we fit. It's a big, pretty big desk here. Man, awesome. Awesome, guys. Check it out. All right, guys, so here we are, new office desk. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I think we need to put one more bracket up underneath this side so we'll get the level out. Slide another bracket underneath right here, um, but she's strong, real strong. So all I've got to do is zip some screws in there to hold it in place, and then we'll go out and get the shelf and mount it up. I'm not exactly sure what height we want that yet, but we're going to check it out. Guys, the next step, we're going to take our finished nailer here. We're going to pop a few nails in. Good to go. Now we're gonna put these little screws. We got some little uh, number 10 stainless steel screws. We're gonna put those in and we'll be done with the desk portion and we'll go get the shelf. All right guys, here's the test. 260 pound test. Now that is a desk, baby. Woo! Well guys, there you have it. That's it for the farm vlog today. That's it for the vlog vlog today. We've got the office getting it together. The desk is up, the shelf is up here. That'll be my charging station, hopefully, so we'll get these videos rocking out, be able to do things like we ought to do. Go ahead and get our taxes done, too. So, guys, thanks for watching. This is Josh Stoney Ridge Farmer. I hope you learned something and had some fun today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, all right? Woo! Yeah, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go nowhere. I totally forgot our door. 
So guys, we sliced the door up. Let me show you. We took the door and we cut it up into pieces here. And we're gonna use the door as a shelving unit or as a piece of art to hang on the wall. I'm not really positive, but I think it looks pretty cool. So we're gonna, we're gonna take these door pieces and we're gonna make some sort of shelving unit or a piece of wall art. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I am pretty sure it's gonna be rad. Woo! Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Look, I'm a door peacock. <laughs>